During this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your own whimsical sparkling sailboat. Inside the kit, you'll receive tips and techniques, also examples of other sparkling art painting party in a bag that I have, along with the free online tutorials available at my website at nettyprice.com. You'll receive a sparkling mini magnet, an eight x 10 canvas board with a black line already painted, paint pots consisting of two white, one yellow, one red, one blue, and sparkles, a paintbrush, a paper plate, paper towel, and you'll need to get a cup of water. One additional thing that I use at the end of my painting when it's completely dry is a Sharpie marker. Now you can use a fine tip, a regular tip, any kind of black felt tip marker or a black pen will do. Okay, with that, let's get started. Okay, here we have the sailboat magnet. And as you can see, the sailboat is broken down into the blue ocean, the blue sky with the white clouds, and the red boat with the yellow coming in from one side. So I typically like to work with the white paint first and then work my way darker. So the first thing we're going to do is take flat white and go over the sails of the sailboat. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush directly into the white and remember in order to cover the black line you need to add white to whatever color you choose. Now we're using white so that shouldn't make any difference but when we do the part of the boat we're going to have to add white to the red so that it covers the black line. We're only going to cover half of the black line. And this is where we can make variations. Rather than making it straight, we have all of this room to create curves in the sail. So I dip my paintbrush into the white paint and we're gonna start with a pole down the middle. We're just gonna make a straight line and then we're going to do each individual sail. So I'm gonna start here at the top and then try to go as straight as I can, right down through the middle of the black line to the base of the boat. I'm gonna dip it in paint again and just pull that paint as straight as you can. Now, if you can't make it perfectly straight, no worries. This is where the Sharpie marker will come into play after we're all done. Okay, now I did the center post and now I'm going to do the sail. Now I want the sail, I don't want to cover the black line. Like I said, I want to make the black line nice and thin now. So I'm going to come down along the side of the pole, trying to make it as straight as I can. And now this is where I can make it curvy within the black line. Notice this line is not a straight line because it's fabric. It's not made of something rigid. I'm gonna come over this way, do the bottom of the sail, and then I'm going to fill that all in with a layer of white. Just gonna fill this in cover over the black. Now with the sail, I want to leave some of the black showing because it creates a really cool under shadow. Just going to fill this in and go over white over white. White on white makes white. Okay, now we'll do the other side. I'm going to start at the top using the thin end of the brush. And I'm bringing it down and covering about half of the black line. And now this is the sail that's in the wind. It's catching the wind, so I want it to have a nice curve to it. And I'm just going to fill that in. And Finish this part of the sail. Okay. 
The next step we'll paint together is the boat portion. And it's red and yellow, but what I need to do is add a little white to the paint so that it covers the black line. So I'm gonna take some of the white, dish it, dish it out onto the plate. And now I'm gonna get some red, put some red there. I'm gonna just dabble it on the brush. I don't really need to mix it on the paint. And now I wanna do the edge of, it looks a little pink now, but that's okay. We are gonna do another layer. And I want it to come down. Now the top part is going to be like a board. So I'm gonna come out and then underneath that, I wanna make red that's gonna come all the way across. But just a strip, that's all. Then I'm gonna paint this in, come down, up, in the wave. And now I'm going to go across and do, I'm gonna leave a distance of about the paintbrush blank and then do another strip. And I'm gonna come in here. And just do the first air. So we have this one, this one, and I guess that's about it. Each painting is a little different. Okay. Now the next step that I want to do is the ocean. Now the ocean, I want to get this red paint off. I don't have to get it all off because the ocean, notice, is darker than the sky. So that means that there's a little bit of red in there. So I'm going to put the blue. I'm going to use the same mixture. I'm going to get the white, a little bit of a touch of red. And now I want to do the waves. And I'm not mixing the paint on the plate. I'm mixing it on the canvas because I want to use those brush strokes to make the sense of water. Now I'm getting it nice and close. Get some white in there. I'm getting it nice and close to the boat. I'm not covering the black line, but I am getting it pretty close. And now I'm gonna dip it in the white and go across and then dip it in the blue. And go across and this is how I'm going to make make the waves with the alternating colors okay so we're going to alternate blue and white I'm going to get some more white dip it in the blue up follow the waves and then do the white and up Follow the waves, and then do the blue. So each each uh, brush stroke is an alternating blue and white. Get some white. And now what I'll do is let that dry and do another layer. Okay, now I wanna work on the background of the sky. So I'm gonna clean out my brush because I wanna add a little yellow to the basis of the blue. Because if you notice, the background in the little magnet has some yellow um, highlights to it. So I want to get the, first let me get the more of the white. I'm going to put it next to the blue and I'm just putting it out there. Now I'm going to get some yellow and dish it out onto the plate and kind of clean this off and then I'm going to get some more blue. So I have my blue, white, and yellow and what I want to do is start with the white, get a touch of blue and a touch of yellow. And now I'm going to go back behind the sail 
and it looks pretty green but that's okay I'm gonna cut in close I don't want to lose the black line I want to get it as close as I possibly can and I'm gonna paint around the outside of the sail so I'm gonna get some more white blue and just a touch of yellow mix it on the canvas cut in close and what I want to do I'm going to do the top part and remember we want to have this yellow come across I want to live I want to leave some black extra black at the top here and I'm going to come across at the same spot over here make that even Get it on the paintbrush and mix it right on the canvas. Now on the outside. And what I'm going to do, I want to get in the middle here as well. Get the dollop of all three colors and cut in as close as I can. And what I'm going to do is use the brush strokes to really kind of make texture in the sky. I'm going to fill in all the way around the outside of the boat. So stop the video and you can fill in the rest of the sky. Okay, so I finished around the outside of the sky. I cut in close. I left some extra room here at the boat because I want to do this in yellow. So I'm gonna get some more white, put it on next to the yellow that I have, and I'm gonna grab a little bit more yellow, put it onto my plate. And now I wanna mix the yellow and the white, and I'm gonna go into where I left room here on the boat, and then come in close to the wave, get some more paint. I think I'm just going to leave an extra black up at the top there. And come down the side. And now this is where it's going to go into the red. Now this has some white in it. I'm going to get a little bit more yellow and work in this stroke there. So we have red going this way and yellow going the opposite direction. And so I have the two planks. Okay, now also, as you can see on the little magnet, there's a little bit of yellow highlight. So I'm gonna put that on the sail. It's mostly white with just a touch of yellow. And it kind of comes out this way. And another one there. So I want to dip it in the yellow and the white and kind of go around that side. I want to let that dry. And next thing we're going to do is another layer on the ocean. So I want to clean up my brush. Okay, now we're gonna work on the waves. And if you notice from the little mini magnet that there's one side of the wave is darker than the other. So what I did was I mixed blue and red and white and made like a deep blue purple. So I'm gonna add some more blue. I have some red there and white and I wanna do just another layer. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the blue, the red and the white. And I'm only going to go on one side of the wave. I'm going to mix it onto the canvas. I want it a little bit darker so I'm going to add a little bit more red to get a purple color and then I'm going to do the one side, the right side of the waves. And I don't want to mix it too much. I want to let the paint mix on the canvas. 
get some more red in there and try to bring it up to the top of the wave and now for the other side of the wave I'm going to get the paint off of my brush and now I'm just going to dip it in the blue and the white so I'm going to grab a little bit more white blue and white and now I'm going to go on the opposite side of the wave And continue and I just want to fill in the bottom part get around the edges of the canvas so I just lift it up a little bit and this bottom wave here Okay, now what I'm going to do is I want to do another layer of the red and another layer of the yellow. So I'm cleaning out my brush and this time I'm just going to use straight red and start over and really make the plank a straight line across in the boat. Nice and red. And then here. And now that covered the black line like we wanted. Now I'm just doing another layer. And just put some more paint on there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow on the other side. So I did another layer on the background in the sky uh, with the blue, the little bit of yellow, and the white. And I tried to cut in as close as I could to the black line. Now we're going to do the clouds. The clouds are so much fun. And I'm not even going to use my paintbrush only to scoop the white out onto the plate. I'm going to use my finger and if you look at the clouds what they're kind of like a a little puffy shape and then straight along the bottom so i'm going to dip my finger into the paint and just do swirls 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 kind of step down with the finger and then go across i'm going to work it in go back in swirl swirl and then come across Let's try it again. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue in there. Swirl, swirl, and then straight across. So I'm just dabbling with my finger and moving it over. Now I'm going to do some more over here on this side. And I'm just going to get some more on there. I want this one to be kind of fluffier at the top and then straight across at the bottom. Let's go over like that, work it in there, and maybe we'll put another cloud down below. So I want to do puffy puffy, and then across. And I don't want to get into the sail, but I want it to be behind the sail. I might need to do a couple layers of these, but that's pretty much how these are done. They're fun. I like doing clouds. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and do a second layer. Now we're on the final stages of the painting. It's completely dry. Dry to the touch all over. And the first thing that we're going to do is touch it up with a Sharpie marker. And what you can do is just go back in and touch up the lines that you may have lost. They don't have to be thick, but just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Now with the sailboat, what I like to do is to just accentuate the lines at the top, and then also the lines between the yellow and the red. And go across there. 
So this is really up to you how much you need to use the Sharpie or the pen. And then finally, the sparkles, the best part. Typically what I do with the boat is I like to put the sparkles, and a lot of sparkle for that matter, on the sails. And you can do multiple layers of sparkles. You can put it on the boat, you can put it on the clouds, anywhere you want. So I hope that was a nice overview tutorial to show you how I create my whimsical, vibrant, and fun sparkling art. I hope you had fun too. If you have any questions, please email me at netty at nettyprice.com or you can post a picture of your finished painting on my Facebook page at Nettie Price Sparkling Art. I hope you had a great time. Thank you. Take care.